After Order 66 and the rise of the Galactic Empire, Yoda spent over two decades in exile on Dagobah. So what was he doing there all that time? That's what I'll be answering today. Yoda arrived on Dagobah in a standard escape pod. Thanks to his small size, it provided him with a reasonable living space and protection from the planet's environment and wildlife. But escape pods weren't meant for long-term shelter, and within a year, the pod began to be consumed by the swamp. Yoda built his new hut in the roots of a gnarl tree using pieces of the escape pod complemented with bark, mud, and stones. The backup power supply from the lifeboat provided him with some modern comforts. Yoda could have used the Force to build an elegant home, but chose to live simply as a member of Dagobah's environment. The weather there should have turned the small hut to rubble, but Yoda used the Force to hold it together. At least, part of his daily routine included foraging for edible yarum seeds and other sources of food. His hut was built near a lagoon, providing him with clean drinking water. From an outsider's perspective, Yoda appeared to have sentenced himself to a life of seclusion, self-denial, and hardship. But Yoda had a more important motive for his exile than simple survival or punishment. Without distractions and without any way to leave Dagobah, he devoted more than 20 years to the study of ancient Jedi texts. He meditated on the deepest mysteries of the Force, and even used his skills to communicate with Obi-Wan or other surviving Jedi like Kanan, Ezra, and Ahsoka. His ultimate purpose was to complete the training necessary to preserve his consciousness after death. In the final episodes of The Clone Wars, Yoda traveled to Dagobah and the Wellspring of Life, the Force Priestesses determined that Yoda was indeed worthy of learning the power to truly become one with the Force, but we never actually saw his training begin. His time spent on Dagobah is where he actually learned to retain his consciousness after death. In the Ahsoka novel, we can see Obi-Wan communicating with Qui-Gon Jinn and studying the same technique, so it would appear that both Jedi spent their time in exile wisely. If you want to look into this a little more for yourself, my main sources were the reference books Star Wars Complete Locations and Ultimate Star Wars, as well as the novel Ahsoka and the final four episodes of The Clone Wars. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone you think might enjoy it, subscribe to the channel to keep up with Star Wars news and lore videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.